Hello everyone and welcome to a quick video review of the Thrustmaster T5 no TH8 RS shifter. Now today um this is gonna be a quick review of the product itself. I've had this since August and it's been an extremely good companion to me in my racing in my rig. I'm just gonna take you, talk you through what's in the box, what it says on the box itself, which I have here. Yeah. What I have there and um, how it feels and whether it's worth the extreme price tag or not. So um, I'm going to start off with going through what's in the box. Um, in the box you get this itself, this is the shifter, and you get the clamp which is um, welded onto the shifter here, and you also get um, a shifter plate like this, and a sequential plate, so if you want to change it for any reason and go sequential then you can, so that's very good. It also comes with this standard knob, and this can be interchanged with any sort of car knob available if you go down to Halfords or something. And then you get this very long USB cable at the top. So, put that down there. Um, also, you get this little bag here with an Allen key and two spare bolts in case you lose any because these shifter plates are bolted on with the Allen key. You can do it yourself in about four minutes you change them around. And you also get the Thrustmaster TH8 RS booklet which has all the warranty information like so, which is the boring stuff. So, what does it say on the box? Well, this is compatible with the PS3 and the PC and it's got USB um, very nice box art itself. Um, H in the sequential mode on PC, compatible with all racing wheels and 90% uh, metal, they claim. I know this for a fact as I've had this open, as I'll talk about later on. So, around the sides, we've got all sorts of writing about the shifter itself and the same on the back and the rear. Overall, it's a very nice box. It's a bit large, I'd say, for the item. I thought it was very large when it came, but yeah, it's very nice. Um, so I'll talk you through a few features on this. Um, it has a thing called heart technology, which is a sort of um, magnetic response in the shifter. And the monitor's gone to sleep. Wakey wakey. There we go. And uh, this allows for really nice shifting, like so. And you get a really nice feel in the shifter itself. So. Um, in terms of construction, it's 90% metal, you can see this is all aluminium around here, the clamp itself is aluminium, the shifter top is aluminium, and all the inside components are aluminium. The only bit of plastic which is visible from the outside is this bit around here, and a bit on the clamp, which is all very nice. Now, this retails, the shifter, at £130, um, you can find it on Amazon, or anywhere that sells it and uh, you may be thinking it's a little bit high for just what it is and I know what you mean it's just a piece of metal <laughs> but um, I'd say it's really worth it um, I have a Logitech Driving Force GT wheel and it doesn't have a shifter on it so I thought rather than spending more than £200 in getting a G27 I'd buy this uh, I'm very glad I did so because it's so nice quality um, so long term it's been very good. I've had a few problems with it. Um, one being, I'm not sure whether um, it was kept for a long while after they made it in the factory, but it didn't have much grease in the components inside. And because of that, after about 10 minutes of racing and shifting like that, it became really, really notchy, and it, it didn't feel as if it wanted to go in gear. Um, I looked around the forums and that, and it was basically that it didn't have enough grease in it. So I, I took the bolts off, you can take a plastic bit off in here and then you get to the main components which are in this bit here. So um, you know, I just greased it all around it, it's fine after that. Um, in terms of wear and tear, uh, there is a little bit of wear around where you engage the shifter and that's covered up with a bit of plastic to protect the metal and you do get a bit of tarnishing on the gear knob itself as well that they supply. Obviously just hand sweat and having your hand on it constantly. But overall it's been pretty good. And any other problem I've had with it is that for some reason um, 
the knob itself is now stuck to this part here. And I don't know why, I think it might have been because I, because I um, did it up too tight or it's just corroded a bit, but I can't get the knob itself off without taking the lever off. That's no problem because they've already thought of that. If you unscrew it like so, bit in the middle comes off like this and then you can just remove the entire lever as so and then it gives you just the unit there so that wasn't really much of a problem for me there's more teething problems than what I've caused or anything else you can see there's a little bit of wear around the plastic piece but that's just a generic plastic piece you can always replace that and every single part of this shifter feels really nicely made it's really solid and the clamp, I have to say, it's the best clamp I've ever used. It, it, it looks simple and it's extremely effective on any sort of surface. No, they're not so um, So much so, in fact, that um, it actually made an imprint in my rig shifter holder itself. And I, I, I struggled to get this off after a while. So that, that's really what you want for this sort of thing. Um, I mean, you don't want it moving around in uh, endurance races and stuff where you can't stop to do anything. Uh, it, it's really versatile. Um, another feature, which is very good, is that this shifter plate itself is able to move around. So no matter where you have it clamped, you can always have the shifter like straight towards you, which is absolutely brilliant. And uh, I'm a very big fan of this shifter. I really, really like it. I'm very glad that I bought it. It's probably the best thing. I have in my rig at the moment, and uh, yeah, I thought I'd just take you guys through um, the features, all the problems I've had, and uh, I would highly recommend it if you have a wheel and you don't want to spend more money on upgrading it. Like, say, if I bought a G27, it would have cost over £200. This upgrade cost around half that, and I'd say it makes it as good as a G27. I mean, it is. It, it's brilliant, I love it, I love it. And um, the price, you may think it's a bit high for what it is, but as with all electronic things, you get what you pay for, to be honest. Um, I mean, it'd be like comparing my driving force GT with a T500 RS racing wheel, which is also made by Thrustmaster, which costs around 400 pounds. So, yeah, I'm really impressed with this. I absolutely love the way that the shifter feels. It's been really good to me, and I hope you enjoyed the review. So, um, a link will be in the description to the shifter on Amazon, um, UK and US. So if you want to go and buy it, I highly recommend it for people who have a fairly low-end wheel and want to enhance their racing experience. So there we go, everyone. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And stay tuned for more reviews. Next month, we'll probably have um, a Samsung SSD review. So I'll be receiving that and upgrading my laptop, so I might video me doing laptop surgery ha <laughs> ha on my beautiful laptop and uh, I'm going to be doing a long term review on that and maybe some other things in my rig such as the Logitech wheel which is another brilliant thing. So yes, I hope you enjoyed and for now that's all from me, bye bye.